Valentino giving me Who killed rap? A new documentary is asking an old question. Who killed rapper Tupac Shakur? And now former Compton officer is offering a $100,000 challenge to the man he's convinced was behind the murder. Chris Blashford has the latest developments. This scene has haunted Las Vegas investigators for 11 years. And detectives there are now planning a fresh trip to Los Angeles, seeking information leading to the gunman who shot up this BMW and killed rap star Tupac Shakur. It wasn't a random shooting. Former Tupac bodyguard Frank Alexander. In this new documentary released in October, recounts two dozen bodyguards that night were told not to carry weapons. He now believes this fight involving Tupac and a rival Crip gang member at the MGM Hotel was staged so the rival could later be blamed for Tupac's murder. A setup, he charges, orchestrated by Death Row Records CEO Marion Suge Knight and Reggie Wright Jr., the record company's security chief. It could not have happened in the way that it did without them having knowledge of it. But Shug says, why would he order Tupac shot knowing he'd be sitting right next to him in the BMW? He says he had nothing to do with Tupac's murder. God knows the truth. And when it comes down to it, it's not one person in the world with any sense to know I have anything to do with um, getting Tupac shot. And Reggie Wright gave an interview to AllHipHop.com saying the documentary is filled with outright lies. But Kevin Hackett, no another former Tupac bodyguard, is challenging Reggie Wright Jr.'s truthfulness. I'm offering Reggie right now 100K to take a polygraph. That he had, not, he had no involvement whatsoever to do with Tupac's killing. Hackett, according to these court filings, worked for two years as an undercover agent for the FBI and ATF helping the feds. To investigate Marion Knight and death row records for racketeering violations. And Hackett. A uh, former Compton School District police officer with. who worked off-duty hours as a Tupac bodyguard now reveals to Fox 11 News an interesting series of events. He says, here at the House of Blues in 1996, an off-duty Santa Monica cop working security confiscated a 40 caliber Glock handgun similar to this from a member of Tupac Shakur's entourage. About two weeks after that, I was contacted by Reggie to go over to Santa Monica Police Department to pick up this firearm. Hackey says he first showed the handgun to his FBI handlers and then turned it over to Reggie Wright Jr. A month later in Las Vegas, investigators say it was a 40 Glock handgun that killed Tupac Shakur. Hackey believes the murder weapon was the same gun he gave Reggie Wright Jr. I believe it is. And here's why. Hackey says he asked Wright about the 40 Glock. He stated once I gave him that firearm, he gave it back to his daddy, who at the time was a lieutenant with Compton Police over the uh, gang division. He stated his daddy booked that firearm in the property, which, you know, is really and truly far-fetched. And Hackey says time, six months really after Tupac's was, uh, murder, he had another conversation with Reggie Jr. about the missing handgun. Mind it you, didn't go well. After that, Reggie told me, you know, hey, it ain't given time. You know, I have the money, I have the people, I can have you killed, it ain't given time. Hackey says he told his FBI handlers, and according to these transcripts obtained by Fox 11, also told LAPD detectives a decade ago that Wright had threatened, I can have you killed at any given time. Reggie Wright Jr. declined an on-camera interview, but in a written statement told us, I had nothing to do with Pac's death. He calls Hackey and former bodyguard Frank Alexander liars. But it's Hackey who was offering the truth challenge. My 100000 is sitting here. I want Reggie to put up $100,000. i will gladly, I will gladly take a polygraph, and I will gladly take his money, and I'll go ahead and start a um, college fund for underprivileged kids in Las Vegas under Tupac's name. In response, Wright tells Hackey, pay for it, set it up, let's do it. The polygraph challenge, he claims, is only a ruse to publicize Alexander's new Tupac documentary, a DVD Hacky says he has nothing to do with. The only thing I want here is for Reggie to be arrested. Hacky says a polygraph will determine who is the real liar. Meanwhile, Las Vegas detectives say they plan to meet with Hacky and hear his allegations. 
And Hackey hopes his statements will be enough to interest a grand jury. Chris Blatchford, Fox 11 News.